Okay, so in the last video we did something interesting. We added uh, after sign in path for our application controller so that when our users sign in, we direct them to where we want them to land. And we also generated a controller for org people and added resources to our org people in our routes file. So we have a lot of options or new functions that we can play with. But for today, what we're going to do is we're going to generate a page for our edit function for our for our org people. So what I want you to do right now is we want to go to org people. Now we generated a page and what I want you to do here is I want you to create a new file and this new file is pretty much going to be our edit HTML for our org people and to write the code what I want you to write is I want you to write div but we should probably save this first um, want to save this at edit.html.erb so that will give us the HTML file we want to play with but we want to start off with some divs first so div and let's just give them the opening and closing tags we're going to give this a class of call md7 and this is just a bootstrap class so if you don't know what it means then you can always look at bootstrap it's pretty pretty into intuitive so we're going to provide it with a title by using the provide function and the title is going to be called edit user and after that we're going to give it a give it a header called h1 and it's going to be called update your profile and we're going to have a form for it called form for person. And this is really, and I can't even spell form for person. This is really just a kind of a loop to generate all the form fields that we want to generate. And when we're writing Ruby on the front end side, we got to remember to put in our end tags as well. And we want to do a uh, render shared error messages. And what this does is that when a person submits a form and the form didn't go through, the, there was problems with the submission, then we'll throw them back to the submission form with the error messages. And then we're going to make another div inside that. And it's going to give them a class of call MD12. And this is gonna render a shared a shared layout called layouts contact fields. And when when we do a F symbol and an F, this is what what this does is it just passes a parameter. Since we defined F here, it's taking all the forms and all the all the definitions at the form and it's passing it as a parameter to the contact fields view which is inside our layouts which is a shared view and something different here is we're gonna keep our submit button on this and on the edit page instead of in the contacts field because if we want to reuse the contact fields view then and we want different different submit buttons then we want we want to keep that out of that view or else it will we'll have the same submit buttons throughout but we're going to use a button, button large, and button primary here. And we're going to save that. We're going to make sure that we actually have contact fields first. So if you look at our layouts, we actually don't have that yet. So let's go to our file, do a, do a save, and let's give it underscore contact fields .html .erb. And I am just going to paste in a contact field to just in order to save time. But let's look at this code and go through it. It's not that intimidating if I explain it. But what you're doing is you're grabbing the F fields. This F here, right here, it came from the F that we passed in. So we're taking that, and this is fields for our or context model. So all the all the attributes inside our org contacts are what's going to be used. So if we go here and we do org 
contacts. All these fields are what is going to be used. So that's what we have there. And this is really, this part is just to do a upload, a photo upload. And we're going to talk about that at a later date. And these are the fields that I want you to focus on. Now, it's really simple. You're just taking your, 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 your variable here and you're making a text field for these, for these symbols, for these columns, which you found in your model. So address one maps to address one, address two maps to address two, and so on. The only part where it might get a little bit confusing is your type countries because you're doing contacts fields for type countries because type countries is actually not part of this, this table. If you can see here, type countries is actually represented by just a number. So what you actually have to do is you actually have to go into the type countries table. So if you do type countries here, it gives you a bunch of fields as well to represent all the countries that you want in your app. So it's going to make a drop down. The collection select basically represents a drop down and the prompt is pretty much the default the default value that you're going to have in your drop down. And using collection select it goes to type country. You're using your model here and you're looking for all your countries. You're grabbing all the countries and you're putting that into a drop down. So this code here really just creates the drop down for type countries which is associated to your org contacts. And you define defined that in your models. So you could see that here type country or contact belongs to type country and it has a foreign key type country ID. Um, same kind of deal for type regions and same type of deal here for org company because it's using uh, instead of instead of uh, instead of countries or regions it's using companies. So that's it's pretty self-explanatory here. If you have any questions and you can leave it in the comments and we can explain better. But just to save time I'm just going to leave this here and you can look in the code itself and digest it yourself. Um, other than that, I think I will end this video here and we'll pick it up in the next video to show you how this actually looks in the UI. Please rate, comment, subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video.